Okay, you clicked on this video because you want to know the difference between using a metal pipe boot or if you want to call this a metal flange and using a lead pipe boot or flange. Let's get started. If you're one of our subscribers, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you guys coming back to watch another video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach Blinkensop. I'm the owner of a company called Digital Roofing Innovations. I'm a U.S. military veteran. I'm a licensed general contractor and a roofing contractor in over nine states. We've done projects from Billy Up the Street all the way through the United States government. So, now we're acquainted. Now, I hope you feel comfortable that I can properly give you a review on these two items. So, where do you use these? Well, typically, you're going to put these on top of any stack coming out of your roof that's circular. These are most commonly going to be put around plumbing vents. Now, if you watched my comparison video compared or comparing metal, uh, again, people call them flanges, I call them pipe boots, and the plastic ones, I chose the metal. Uh, I do not recommend ever putting any of the plastic pipe boots or pipe flanges on your roof. Actually, I have one laying right here. Never put this on your roof or never allow your contractor to put it on your roof. At the minimum, you want to install these. So what's the difference between these metal ones and these lead ones? Well, the obvious you know, difference is, you know, these can be laid flat. Uh, your, your, your pipes can be cut and fit. There's a bunch of different sizes of these. Typically, you're gonna find what's called a three-in-one, which is what this is, and then a four-inch. Um, but these are a great option. Uh, these, these seals normally last for the life of your roof if you have an asphalt shingle roof. They do, I do recommend people caulking these, you know, before you install these, uh, or excuse me, after you install these, you wanna make sure it's caulked. And then once every few years, get up on your roof and double check and make sure that you don't have any holes or anything like that coming out, um, or there's not any separations. And my dog just came to visit me out here. <laughs> okay, so, uh, but th th these will break down over time. You know, this is made of rubber or plastic, so what you're gonna do is, uh, th these are going to deteriorate, especially if you're in an area where it's really hot or you get a lot of sun. Uh, you are going to have some deterioration on this flange or boot, whatever again you want to call it. Uh, so that's something you do have to watch out for. But the metal ones work pretty well. Uh, never let anybody reinstall these if they've already been put on once. Take them off and 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 just go ahead and replace them. These things cost for a contractor. He, he should be paying anywhere from six to ten dollars, depending on where he lives at. So it's just a really cheap fix. Uh, the one thing you do want to make sure is you have to drive nails through these and you want to make sure that they're caulked. But the good thing about these metal ones is once they're installed, they don't go anywhere. Again, this is the worst thing, uh, worst thing can happen is this thing failing over time. So now you have your lead pipe vents. Now these are the best things on the market. And, and you know, the, really the, the cost difference isn't really that much. You're talking about these are $15. Uh, roughly and these gonna cost you about anywhere from like I said six to ten uh, We install these on almost every project that, that we do uh, the great thing about lead is it's obviously um, It's very pliable uh, You can put it anywhere once these things are installed. You don't have to worry about caulking them because they're not going to uh, They're not gonna leak um, These can be re reused uh, Just for, again for the, for the cost purpose. I would just recommend installing new ones whenever you do projects it doesn't really make sense to uh to go cheap and and save yourself you know you know 40 50 bucks it's it's just better to uh just to replace these all together but you can see how how pliable these things are and so they're just really great when you install these and you're going to install this the same way you do install these you're still going to nail four nails in them you'll make sure they're cocked uh so no water gets through but this is to me the the lead pipe boots are going to be not, they're, obviously they're not most cost effective, but when it comes to if your roof is leaking, because a lot of people get their roof replaced and they think it's they think it's something wrong with their shingle, and what it really is is just a, it's just one of these flanges or pipe boots that's leaking. So for for me, I always normally install a, on an asphalt shingle roof a ridge vent, and then I install these to eliminate any holes that can be up in your roof. So 
these are the you know superior option and if you're a contractor and you haven't installed these before i recommend trying it a few times you'll notice obviously it's not a huge difference in price because you're only installing these uh, a few of these per residential job and on a big commercial job there should be enough profit for you to go ahead and install those anyway so that's my two cents on uh, the comparison between the two again i'm fine with both of these just never use the plastic ones the plastic ones are just just terrible and there's just asking for trouble in the future so guys if this video was helpful please give me a thumbs up it really helps out the channel if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet here's your official invitation please subscribe to our channel as always the digital roofing innovations we believe in using a modern approach with traditional values have a great day